Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Eric Bush. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a little something different. I'm gonna do a, do a review on a product I just got. This is definitely a must if uh, you know you're into cars and um, you know lowered and stuff like that. So what I did was is, as you guys probably know, I bagged my 10th gen Civic Si, and um, I kept on driving. You know I drive my car to Maine a lot, and it's about Connecticut to Maine's about three and a half hours. And I you know I drive. I drive the car. It's my daily. Unfortunately, so I don't have like a you know beater. So what I did was is when I bagged it, I drove it for about, I don't know, maybe about 20,000 miles and I noticed my rear tires were cupping. Um, people were like, oh, it's from your shocks. I did go through one pair of shocks already because the, the I was riding too low. So I kind of had to fix that problem, but now I fixed that problem. So what I did was is I, I went with this brand a lot, very good brand. I had them on multiple of my cars. Um, what I did was I went with uh, adjustable camber arms and that definitely fixes fixed the problem. So what I uh, I went through Megan Racing and this isn't a sponsor. If you want to sponsor me, I'll do reviews all day on your product. I'd love to throw it on my car and do reviews. Um, so here it is, really good quality. So here they are guys, the rear camber arms for the 10th gen Civic Si. Uh, Megan Racing, very, very good product, very durable, lasts a long time, um, just awesome, all, all around awesome brand. Um, this come with one, this come with a one year warranty, you know, here's the instructions, not really instructions, just tells you what you can and cannot do, pretty much, you know, sorry about the alarm behind me, uh, so simple, you know, install them on the car. And when you install them, I recommend getting alignment right away. Uh, uh, I have the, I have the good ways of working. I work for a dealership, so I can do the alignment myself. But when I drive, I probably negative, I probably negative like three camera when I drive, so I was getting a really bad cupping in my tires. And uh, so I was like, let me get these camera arms. And I know I went with this brand multiple times on other cars and never had an issue. So only issue I ever had was is. When this, with the adjustment in here, the, the threads, you know, where I live, it snows, the salt, and it got rusted. So I learned to take it all apart and um, I anti-seize it, it works well. So it's, it's really good to have. I love this brand. Um, I had a few other parts of my car from Megan. Everybody's different. They're affordable, very affordable. I think I paid 300 bucks for the kit. Um, not hard to do two bolts in and out one bolt is kind of close to the gas tank so it's a little pain in the butt but it comes out but all in all really good brand um so how it works slap them on right put them on you have these three adjuster three adjusters one two three so when this turns out this is pretty much both your lockings boom boom the inner is just to turn the inner spline so when you turn it however you you know what degree you want you turn it you're gonna lock this in and lock this in and so they're just jam nuts so when you lock it this can't turn at all when you're driving very very good to have i didn't mention this before why did i buy it i bought it because it stops from your tires like camber was a big thing back in the day maybe 2010 i'll post a picture right here um it was really cool you know if you run like a bigger rim you know you might need a little bit of camera for better fitment i'm running what my came, car came with 18s it might be a little a thicker rim but you need it for your camber adjustment a lot of people buy it to add more camber i don't like that camber stuff so i bought it to get rid of my camber you could adjust it in a little bit more and it'll push my so your car your your tires will be like this i'm bringing my tire in like this i hate the camber goes through tires like crazy that was long time ago that stuff so if you if you have camber you need to get rid of it or you want camber don't recommend it definitely get these um again megan racing they're very very good brands very durable um i don't know what it's made out of maybe i don't want to say steel but they're they're heavy so that's really good and like i said i drive to maine at least once or twice a year 
three hour trip those highways are brutal and they last that's one thing i love about it i had a couple other brands before years ago and they're complete junk only other brand i would go with is maybe k-tune but megan is all the way with uh with these uh with these parts um i know some people they're like oh i felt the difference you don't feel no difference you don't you're not going to feel anything only thing if you feel is how your car would track with the traction of the wheels if that makes any sense you know what i mean i could i'm gonna post the link in below of where i got them i believe it was fitment industry shout out to you guys the reason uh the reason why you should always get them and why they work so well is you know the quality of them the quality is excellent um the bushings that's what another problem the, my stock bushings i think they're starting to go a little bit because when i air out the bushings just kind of go in these bushings are you know all bushings should be really tough these bushings are really tough so that's really good and i'm pretty much replacing the bushings at the same time that's the main goal but as you guys know i'm in connecticut leaves all over the ground it's cold it's maybe like 47 degrees outside so it's hard to do content but it's not bad today oh no yeah i would definitely check them out very very good product it comes with stickers if you're a sticker boy you know i don't really like stickers but i have a box of stickers i just keep everything in, in. but yeah if i could i would throw a whole bunch of suspension of megan on my uh at my car um i know they make like sway bar links and sway bars yada yada um this is a good first step though very first good step of saving your tires you don't want to go through tires you know unless you got money like that but it's a quick review thank you for coming back hope you guys enjoyed my last two videos i'm really uh trying to get back into this youtube groove i want 10 likes on this video 10 likes i'm not asking for 10 10k likes 10 likes let's get it so thank you for coming back guys really appreciate it quick review and that's my review i really like these and uh stay tuned for part two when i install them i'm going to show you how to install them so very simple very easy have a good night guys later